question here from Luke. Hi, Linus. I do cell phone repair. <laughs> That's not really a question, Luke. <laughs> yeah. 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 Got him. What's going on, Luke? Classic Luke. Uh, but I was also curious if when Labs is up and running fully, there'll be any testing of durability of mobile devices or te- teardowns like iFixit does. I don't think that we are going to get into either of those. Um, durability testing is not useful on a sample size of one. And quite frankly, it's not even useful on a sample size of 10. We showed back when we toured OnePlus's manufacturing facility that what it takes is specialized equipment, whether it's for drops or whether it's for tumbles, that is run on many, many devices. And they have the luxury of many, many disposable devices to chuck into these things that are not finished quality, right? That might have engineering sample grade SOCs in them, for example, like they they literally couldn't sell them. Is ready to test exactly, or they could make dummy ones that have exactly the same body, and they can investigate it for screen cracking without actually wasting hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of internal hardware on them. Uh, We we just don't we don't have that kind of a luxury, and that's the kind of thing that you know what? Hey, three to five years from now, if the community said we want this. We might even create a system. Actually, this is a really good idea. We should write this down. But we could create a system where our community could could fund, could specifically fund specific tests. They could say, "Hey, uh, we want to see, we want to see ten iPhones in a tumble dryer," um, and then we would have basically build a mechanism where they could. We could say, like, look, we're not gonna, we're no, we're not paying out of pocket for that. There is, there is no way There's, you're that not we could your return. make up that ten thousand dollars worth of close. iPhones on this video or this article or just this data sheet, right? It's not happening. But if you guys really want to see it, then sure, yeah, we're into it. Uh, we could even see manufacturers potentially funding something like that. Like if you're a, um, ugh, ugh, no, I don't know, that'd be tough. That'd be tough. Like if I'm an OtterBox and I just said, hey, I want independent third-party testing of how well the iPhone holds up to this thing, there's no way that they're going to just write the check and walk away uh, and not expect us to also test OtterBoxes, for example. So that's, man, that's tough. Is that an acceptable thing? As long as they don't interfere with our data and they under- and as long as as part of our agreement, we basically say, yeah, you got to understand that once you write the check, we're publishing the data regardless of the yeah. outcome. I don't think it's bad to test order boxes. I could see us doing it for LTT, but I don't think that's something that the lab would just do and publish the data. So that's something where LTT oh, yeah. could use the lab. Yeah. I, that's where I would kind of draw the line there. That seems fair. Yeah. Question here from William. Hi, Linus. And one of your oh, at- sorry. No, I will get to that one sec. As for I fix it, I think they do a great job. I don't think we'd be contributing anything to that particular space at this time. Low priority. We love I fix it. 